Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time. Come over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Wednesday again, so I reckon it's time for another Working Wednesday, that series that's dedicated to all those hardworking women and hardworking men out there. We're, we're trying to get you a nutritious and delicious meal together in less than an hour, guys. Guys, I'm going to shift gears with this one. What we're actually going to do is a slow cook, and we're going to utilize my West Bend here, guys. And it's just going to be just a few minutes of preparation, and then you just let your uh, your slow cooker do its thing all day long. And when you get home from work or get done out working in the in the yard or whatever you're doing, you're going to have you a really, really nutritious meal and del very, very delicious. And at the end of the day. And uh, guys, I grew up on this, and I'm sure a lot of y'all did, and I'm sure a lot of your families will really, really enjoy this, guys. What I got here, guys, is a uh, sirloin tip roast, guys, and I bought a huge one. I guess that thing might have been, I don't know, maybe 12, 15 pounds, and what I did was I had my butcher, uh, my good friend Sonny, she uh, sliced it up for me and cut it into, like, uh, I guess I, I got like about four or five roasts out of it, and then I vacuum sealed them back, guys. So guys, that's what I'm gonna prepare for y'all today. Um, along with just a little bit of rice guys. It's just gonna be just a simple easy delicious meal And you know you can get rice together pretty quick and like I said, this is just gonna do its own thing You're not even gonna have to touch it uh, guys before I ever do any of my roasts. I always my signature is to uh, uh, You know paprika it up real good and fry it off in, in the pan to seal in all the juices So let's go ahead and get started here guys let me get my West Bend set up, and we're going to get to rocking. Oh, I love to utilize this au jus gravy, guys. It just makes it so rich and so delicious, guys. Uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm here to tell you this stuff is wonderful. And you actually use this in that Mississippi uh, pot roast as well. Okay, guys, let's get busy. Okay, guys, I got a little bit of my canola oil coming up to temp in my pan here. We're going to sear off our, our, our sirloin tip here, guys. I don't know about you, but I can't never get my paprika to come out of uh, my container here, so I'm just going to take me a little iced teaspoon and give it a liberal amount here, and we'll rub it in. Nicely. Let me go ahead and get my my big big fork here And what I'm going to do is take my little fork and just kind of guide it along Look at that guys. I love the rich color that puts on that And now that is what seals in the juices Okay guys while we're doing this and letting this finish off what I've done is I've taken one uh, Cup of water here, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my my OG mix like I said, that's how simple this is, guys. It's only going to be a couple minutes more uh, browning up. And we're going to get her on down into the West Bend pot. Now I went ahead and I took my base, and I've got it over there heating up over by the coffee maker. And uh, we'll just merely put the top, uh, put, put it down in the, the pot there and get the cover on it. But look, guys, is that not simple or what? You can do this like... I don't know, wake up 30 minutes before you usually hit out the door and you're set. And by the time you get home, man, you're going to be eating good. I'm here to tell you, eating real good. All right, guys, I'll get right back with you. Okay, guys, I've got it browned off on uh, both sides here. Go ahead and take a peek. Look at that, guys. Let me do the fat side there real quick. All right, guys, here we go. All there is to it. Right into our pan, our pot. All right, guys, I'll meet okay, you Okay, guys, there. we've got our sirloin tip roast uh, browned off really, really well here. And all I'm gonna do is I've got my West Bend base turned on. I've got it pulled up to high. That way I can just get a good temperature on it first. All right, guys, now what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna place it on there. Now what I've done here, guys, I've taken some of the au jus and uh, Roughly about a cup, maybe just a little bit more than a cup of water. But first things first, guys, I took those two medium onions that you've seen earlier, and I just kind of quartered them out. So I'm just going to lay them all around here. Piece of cake. 
And if you love onions, guys, you're going to love this. And I was going to mention one of my great friends, Kendall. She has a new kit cooking channel on there now. And she did a onion roast. And I mean, it looked to die for, guys. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get my au jus up in here. And, of course, the roast itself is going to produce gravy, too. So, all right, guys. How simple was that? All right, let's go ahead and get the lid on it. All right, guys, I'm going to pull this puppy on down to low. And it's just going to do its thing all day long. Now you can hit out, go to work, do whatever you want to out back, uh, take care of some errands or whatnots. All right, guys, we'll get right back with you here in just a little bit. Okay, thank right, you so guys, very, very we're much. several hours in. Let's take a peek. Oh, yeah. That is what we call pure ambrosia land. Yum, yum, yum. All right, guys, we're ready to pull our roast here. Let's see if we can get her out here. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, I think she's falling apart on us. What do you think, boy? <laughs> All right, guys, take a peek at that bad boy. Moist, tender, and delicious. And I've got my rice done. So uh, what I'm actually going to do for y'all guys is I'm actually going to uh, make a little gravy here. I went ahead and I found some baby carrots and I added that to it along with the onions. So what I'm going to do is I'll remove them real quick and then I'm going to make some gravy. All right, guys, I'm ready to make my gravy. And what I've got here is I've got uh, roughly about two tablespoons of cornstarch and some water and I'm just gonna put that on up in here and we're gonna make some gravies all right guys that's how simple that is so I'll just sit here and I'll stir it for a minute all right guys all right guys it's somewhat of a slow process with the slow cooker but it can be done so it's just gonna be a few more minutes and we're going to be eating good. Check that out, y'all. Mm -hmm. Next level yumminess. Just stir the witch's cauldron. Well, pow! Check that out, guys. We got our working Wednesday feast over to the table, guys. And doesn't that look like we worked on that all dang on day long? And I'm here to tell you, it was just about maybe five minutes prep work this morning. Uh, just... Uh, uh, searing that thing off a little bit with some paprika and then uh, making up my au jus and then uh, cutting up a couple of onions and throwing some carrots down in there guys look at that y'all is that not next level yum or what along with that I got a little bit of rice with butter I made up some gravy look at that guys mm, yeah and uh, I got some uh, fresh green beans today guys so we're gonna give those a shot and I've got a little bit of uh, Italian bread so Let's get on it, guys. Yum. All right, guys, we are plated up. Take a peek at that goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Got an aerial shot there. Yeah. It'll melt in your mouth. Is it good? Delicious. Was that, did you try the roast? Is that what you're. The what? The roast, does it melt in your mouth? Yeah. Man, oh, man. Couldn't be any more tender. I know when I walked in, I could just smell it permeating throughout the house. It's wonderful. Is that gravy good? Very good. Is it too rich or? No, that's right. All right, guys. Let me get after this. Fork tender. That's what I'm saying, guys. If you plan ahead, you can have a masterpiece of a dinner, and you really don't really have to do anything. My God, it is. That is melt in your mouthness. I know it might be a little odd, but I put <laughs> I put butter in with my gravy, guys. Let's get a little bit of rice here. Good. 
I didn't add any salt to anything. Yahoo, that's hot. <laughs> mm. Let's try some fresh green beans here. Look at that, guys. Can't wait for summer. Give me some good corn, too. Nothing like fresh green beans and corn. Now, if I'd have had some bacon thawed out, guys, you know I'd have put about a half a pound in there, and they'd have been some good greasy green beans. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. Love me some green beans, guys. All right, let's go back in a little bit of this roast. Look, it's just falling apart. Oh my goodness. Mm. And if there's any left, I'll make some sandwiches with it. To me, it's sort of like that meatloaf we were talking about a while back. A cold roast beef sandwich about midnight. Oh my God, guys, it just don't get no better. Mm. Get a little piece of my Italian bread. I like how that stuff bakes up. Pretty neat, isn't it? Is it good? It's good bread. One dollar for the whole entire loaf. Mm. I love the heel, the crusty part. Mm. It's fresh. Yeah, they baked it at the store. Mm. Oh my word, guys. Mm. Sarge likes carrots. Mm. I'm gonna try my carrot. Mm. A little bit of onion. guys I'm here to tell you this is the ultimate down home cooking right here guys this is this is to me this is soul food it's good for the soul y'all guys I want to thank you so very very much for taking the time to come over here and visit with me on all my all my cooks and uh, I feel so uh, it makes me so happy to be able to do this working Wednesday and share this with y'all and maybe help y'all get a meal together and uh, Guys, I reckon uh, cooking tips and household hints will be coming up uh, this Friday, and I'm going to do a little recipe for you. I'm going to actually do that, uh, what is it called, Frito corn salad. I'm going to do that for y'all. And uh, guys, it turned out wonderful. And you won't believe how fast and easy and quick and delicious it is. It just tastes, I know I keep saying that, but it tastes like summertime, guys. To me, corn is like the quiz essential, <laughs> the quiz essential summer food. But uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to say thank you so very, very much. I'm going to get busy. We'll holler at y'all soon. Bye.